morning. It is Monday, October the 10th. I hope that you all are having a great time. How was your weekend? How is it already a third through October? How are, how are we here already? I don't know. I don't know. But we are. I hope you all had an incredible weekend. Uh, my weekend was busy. Becca's weekend was busy. We had some busy weeks, some busy weekends around here. On my way to Hobby Lobby on my day off, Christy, get some of these while you go. Mm -hmm. Get some of these while you go. Some of these uh, clear plastic ornaments, they go fast. So definitely grab some. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Yes, happy Monday. We're here again for a Monday live. You guys are getting spoiled with these Monday lives. Don't get too used to it. <laughs> but... Happy uh, belated Thanksgiving to our Canadian friends. Yes, they, oh, yes. yes. Um, our friend Sin from Makers Gonna Learn posted some yummy butter board and a cream cheese oh. board that they had made. <gasps> really? For, yeah, yeah. Um, it looks super good. Oh, man. How cool. Yeah. Good morning, Flock family. Good morning, Lorraine. Hi, everyone. We're going to be making a glitter ornament today. We haven't done one of these in a hot minute since last year, right when we launched. So it's like deja vu. You all love these glitter ornaments, You though. do. Yes. You do. Becca doesn't. No. <laughs> I've never made one. Becca does not love these. Um, mostly like how I hated UV resin. I had never done it. I was like, ugh, Becca, I can't believe you're working with that stuff. Um, it, it's one of the easiest things ever is to make a glitter tumbler. And you guys know there's a lot of different ways you can make them. And this is the way that we prefer to make them. We're using polyacrylic today. I don't have a dropper. I don't have a syringe like I should. So we're just going to be working with what we got today, which is some little cups. But I'll go through all of these supplies and share with you more about that. We're going to just... Uh, chit chat a few more minutes and let some more people come on into the live such a busy weekend stacy we feel you jen said my work inbox exploding due to it issues oh jen i'm sorry that's terrible yeah it issues are the worst my first live ever thanks to fall break martha yay martha. Hi, martha we're so glad that you're here what a fun life to join in on if you are new to the channel Welcome. Yes. We're so glad that you're here. My name is Rachel and the voice that you hear talking as well as Miss Becca and we are both owners and craft educators here at Oak and Lamb and we are so excited that you have joined us for your very first live. Welcome Martha. Let me know if you have any questions. We're here to answer those. Uh, yeah, Becca just posted the link too. If you'd like to join us here at Oak and Lamb, we do have a great offer for you. $35 off your very first year with us. Uh, so you can grab that using code 35 off 35 O F F. How is the website? Christy, it's hanging in there. It's hanging in there. It's a thorn in our side. Like we, you have no idea. <laughs> We're, we, we have six stomachs and losing sleep but you know what else can you whatever do? we're whatever we're gonna get there i friggin love glitter ornaments lorraine we friggin love them too i like the way you spelled that yes happy turkey day shirley yes happy late thanksgiving to all of our canadian friends i finally did a flannel shirt project i'll post pictures yes beth let us know so um I always say this is going to be a short live and it never is. So I'm not going to say that today. All I'm going to say is that this project, if you are home alone and not chatting with a hundred of your best friends, will not take very long at all. However, today, since we are chatting with a lot of you guys, it might take a little longer and that's just totally fine. We're using some scrap vinyl today. So I found a piece of scrap. Becca knows I'm, a, I'm iffy on scrap vinyl, but I found this one and I think it is promising. So we're gonna use some scrap black uh, regular piece of vinyl. The brand we love is Starcraft from 143 Vinyl. It is linked down below. And we have some clear grid, standard grip transfer tape here. This is clear. It's important to be clear with projects like this because it's much easier to place your vinyl down, especially since your ornament itself is clear. We have polyacrylic. We have three ounce little cups. This is not the way that I would do it. Go to your pharmacy or raid your medicine cabinet and grab one of those plastic syringes or medicine droppers or something like that and use that for this. That will be much better. Today we don't have that. So we're using what we have, which is some little cups. 
We have some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel to clean our ornament. Some glitter. I'm just gonna do like a white glitter ornament, maybe look like snow and some black text on it. Mix and match this with the theme and the color scheme of your Christmas at home. But this is a pretty um, standard way to do it. We're just gonna have white glitter so that black HTV pops really well. Uh, we have some little bitty scissors that we have today. These are so cute. These are Tim Holtz. And then for the ornaments, I'll link them down below. It's the first link in the um, supply list down there. And these are clear, flat, plastic ornaments. And there's four of them in here. They're half off right now. And if you have a Hobby Lobby near you, buy these online a lot, go get them now. Miss Becca actually got these, what Becca, like a month ago or more? Mm, yeah. 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 As soon as I had them out on the display. It may have been July. It, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it probably was July. She snuck over there and snagged a couple of these boxes because they get gone quick. When we need them and go to try to find them, we can't find them. So grab them now if you are wanting to, wanting to do that. Uh, store poly and squeeze bottle. So Chrissy, the reason we don't do that is because we use this for so many other things. Um, to seal on wood, to seal projects before we put them outside. If you're doing only glitter ornaments, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's a great idea. So if you mm -hmm. want to do that, definitely go check out. I'm sure the Dollar Tree has something up your alley. Definitely store this in a squeeze bottle. That would be really, really easy. A great solution for glitter ornaments like this because that's what we need to do is we just need to squeeze a good amount in here and we're going to be like pouring it me messy with a little plastic cup today. So I think smarter, not harder on that. Um, um, let me see. We have a birthday. A birthday. Jose's birthday. Jose, happy yes. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, Susan. Hi, Susan. Is that all the supplies? I think that's all the supplies. I think so. We have these big ones here. These are almost four inches, and these are also, I love this size. Now, we have plastic. I don't know about you guys. Even when I didn't have kids, I was I, I, I break things. I don't want the glass ones. When we go to Hobby Lobby late in the year, that's all we can find is the glass ones, and we don't want those. We don't want those. Especially if you have pets. Yes. Mm. And then today is Charlie's first Christmas. He's crawling right now, so if I don't put a baby gate around my Christmas tree... He's probably just going to climb it, honestly. So we'll see how he does with that. Um, and plastic ornaments are a must for a child who is crawling. So I would highly recommend them. Um, also to store them, you can store them easier as well. So uh, other than that, we have some odd and ends as far as Cricut supplies go. Uh, brayer, true control knife, weed or tool, things like that. You know the drill there. Uh, glitter, no. Stacy, you got something against glitter? Huh? You got something against glitter? I do. I don't like glitter. Becca loves glitter. I don't like glitter. I'm going to also have to make a funnel. I forgot about my glitter funnel. I'll get a piece of uh, copy paper and make me a good old glitter funnel. Um, good thing Scott is busy since this involves glitter. Yeah, sorry to disappoint. That is... It's an annoying thing. It happens. Oh, we are using glitter. How fun Charlie's crawling. I, he gets from point A to point B quickly. It's not like a hand, hand, foot, foot crawl. It's more of like a arms up, legs in, launch type of thing. But he can do it very quickly. So I consider it crawling because my niece also crawls. And it honestly looks like something out of a horror movie. It, it's like one leg is completely still. She doesn't move one leg. And the other leg is up. And it's, she scoots. But I consider that crawling too. So mobile. He's mobile. He's mobile. Um, I don't know where she found them. But my sister-in-law made some that are large vintage tree lights. She gave me a red and green one. And I love them. Jan, that sounds adorable. Just like the glass, the classic glass Yeah, bulbs. they're really cute. That sounds awesome. Awesome. She must be a thrifty gal. She probably found those at a thrift store, junkyard. I don't know. Or I don't know where junkyard. The junkyard. I don't know where she found them. I swear, Stacy. I second Becca's new puppy. Tell us. You know we love puppies around here. I'm gonna get a piece of paper. I'm gonna get a piece of paper. Ah, I could have gotten. Oh, it's okay. Was not reading the um, cues there. Um, it's it's okay. Yeah. I didn't need it right now. You didn't have to read the cues. I'm just gonna get one little lousy piece of paper to make me a 
a glitter, a glitter funnel. Okay, now guys, as far as uh, uh, design space goes, I, I hate to disappoint you, but we're using a cut file that Miss Becca made last Christmas. Can you even believe that? Becca, we it's have- probably my fir one of my first We have, we're using releases, a yeah. cut file from one of your very first cut file releases. And she's a gorgeous one, she's gorgeous. Uh, it says Joy. Now Becca had a super creative idea to do a fun print the cut sticker. We have to do it, because it's way too cute not to. But for the title today being like cutting and applying Cricut vinyl, we're just gonna leave it regular vinyl. So we have sized this at two inches because our ornament is like, I don't know, Becca, close to two and a half. <laughs> it's close to two and a half inches. I don't know. I don't know how to measure things. So I'm just going to make it two inches. Okay. It'll fit perfect on here. Um, now for something this small, I know it's not an exceptional rule because it does waste a little bit of vinyl. Sometimes I feel like it is um, a necessary step. If you're doing anything less than two inches, cut it twice, cut it out twice. Go ahead and waste the vinyl. That way if you're weeding this up and you happen to make a mistake or you weed off one of the letters or you just mess up in some way, you still have another one that's already been cut. You're wasting two inches of vinyl, it's not that much. And it's like a little safety net. Now I'm a little overly confident today, so I don't think I'm gonna do that, but I'm just letting you know, if you are a beginner, go ahead and cut two of these out because it will be helpful. Uh, so I have this already sized to two inches wide. I'm gonna go ahead and click make it. I'm gonna plug in my Cricut. Uh, that's how it's gonna cut. I'm gonna bring it in just a hair and click continue. My Cricut's not on, that would help a lot. We're using a Maker 3 today. You can use any Cricut that you have. It will cut this. Any Cricut will cut this. Just using basic vinyl today. We don't need to mirror it or anything. We're gonna use premium vinyl removable matte setting. And that's it. Now we're just gonna load the vinyl onto our, well that's done. So we're just gonna load it into the Cricut. <laughs> I was like, we're gonna load the vinyl onto the mat. I already did that. So load it in, I'm gonna cut that out and then we will prep our ornament as this cuts. Cause that, that's what's gonna take a while. Uh, in a perfect world, you'll prep your ornaments um, beforehand or, or after really. I mean, the vinyl's not gonna like get in the way of how you prepare an ornament. So you can do this days in advance or even you can place the vinyl on here before you even add glitter to it. Totally up to you. But the first thing we're gonna do is remove, pull that top off. Now, I have our glitter uh, ornament that we're gonna add glitter to. Have our glitter, we have our polycrylic. What we're gonna do now is fill, not fill, but pour a good amount of polycrylic into this and we want to make sure every little bit of it it's coated so it's gonna be messy guys let me get back to see you guys on YouTube I want to see you okay and that's already done cutting out looks pretty good okay I'm gonna take this cap off which thankfully we have a little paint can opener around here now unpopular opinion I don't know if you guys have purchased these I like the metal I mean, no, I don't like the metal. I like the plastic better than the metal. I think, cause this whole thing's plastic now. None of this is metal. And that's new. Cause the old one we had at Makers and Alerts, it was metal. Yeah. And it would like rust around the top. So I like that this is plastic. I have to agree. I like it too. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this cup, scoop out some of this and pour it into this cup so it's not dripping. And then I'm gonna throw this cup away. I know, I know, it's a, it's a lot. Get some of that, pour it in here, and throw my drippy cup away. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna use this, and for those of you asking, this does not have a strong smell. I just wanna, I just wanna let you know. I'm gonna crush my cup at the top, just like that, make it a little bit of a spout, and just pour this on in here, just like that. It doesn't matter how much you pour, you can fill the thing to the top if you want to, because you're gonna be pouring it back out. So I'm just gonna, Swirl this around. I hope you guys can see pretty well. Just swirl this around just like that, making sure it hits all the sides. You want every single surface of the inside of this ornament covered. And now I'm gonna start rolling my ornament with my little cup down here to catch the excess. Just slowly rolling your ornament around so you get 
all of it saturated just like this now the whole thing is covered now here's what you can do you see it's dripping just go ahead and set your ornament down in your little cup set them down there just let them drip for a bit um, that's fine you're just gonna let them do his thing we're gonna set this to the side I'm gonna leave it open with the lid off though because we'll pull pour that back in there like I said I don't think that I meant to order the big polycrylic I didn't uh, mean to do that because it'll last us forever so while that's dripping I'm gonna put that to the side right back here we'll take our mat out of our Cricut and get a true control knife and a weeder tool Becca have I missed any comments I'm not even barely looking um, how no. rude uh Grizel says she uses a syringe for this we do too syringe yeah. uh, Grizel but we neglected to get one yeah um it's definitely the easier way so this is just a good alternative if you happen to not have one too like us yes use a use like a dropper or uh, a syringe is best yeah, just go and use really a syringe well. uh have one dedicated for it so you can like scribble on it or write on it and then make sure that you uh clean it after every use and you'll be able to use it year after year so i'm going to remove the excess vinyl from this mat and we just cut that on the regular setting i remove the vinyl the excess vinyl now i'm going to get a brayer now here's why we bray the vinyl that we have just cut Whenever your fine put blade goes through and cuts this vinyl, it's actually agitating the vinyl. Whenever it cuts it, it can sometimes lift the vinyl up a little bit from the backing. So by braying it down or smoothing it down with a brayer or a um, burnishing tool, you're actually re-adhering all this vinyl back on the backing. And that's going to make it easier to weed so that when we weed it, the vinyl that we want doesn't come up with us. So now I'm going to take it start on the edge some people start in the center I can't stand that I cannot I always start on the edge and I just peel it up now if you're doing something with regular adhesive vinyl read it read it as you're weeding especially if you have lots of lines of text if you read it while you're weeding it it makes it a lot uh, easier for you to spot issues so I've peeled that up I'm just gonna hold that set that to the side now I have a couple of spots in the center I have my Y up here I'm gonna take that out then I have a spot up here in this O, and then in my J, beautiful. Now, once you have everything weeded, look at it, make sure that everything looks good, there's nothing missing, um, everything's been weeded out properly, you're good to go. Now, again, we're using this, I'll show you. I have this link down for you, but this is, if I'm remembering correctly, 60 feet. 60 feet of uh, transfer tape which is a lot of transfer tape and we've just cut off a little piece here Sorry, oh you're good this for you. Fo focus on my it's like it would focus and then out and it started in pages. focus on my unicorn band-aid I want to know what happened to your finger oh gosh guys <sighs> Oh, 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 it's clear as a bell. Is it? Clear as a bell. The joy is clear. I'll wait on you. Just give me the okay. We'll go with that. Okay. Guys, I just have bad dermatitis. Big shock. And it's only on my right hand. Only. It's not on my left hand at all. But I just have dermatitis. And especially when the uh, weather gets cooler, it just gets, gets worse. So I have a split right there. But at night, I have to put, like, special ointment on my hands and then tape them all up and then I look like a kid who just went rogue with a knife or something with a bunch of band-aids on my hand but it's fine everything's fine <laughs> uh, okay so I'm gonna take this little piece this was a little scrap piece as well Becky you should be so proud of me using all my scraps today I am so proud uh Megan it is a cut file I think it was from if it's not the first cut file release that I did then it's the second one it's an oldie. It's an oldie but a goodie. Now I have that sized really well. Um, now we're gonna go through here later and show share with you guys good ways to place uh, regular vinyl on a curved surface. We're cheating today using an ornament that is flat, but placing vinyl on a curved surface is a little bit tricky and you wanna make some relief cuts and things like that. But for this, it's just super straightforward. So we're gonna remove the backing and I didn't even show you that I did that, but 
If I take this and I bend it down just like that, the transfer tape will almost always uh, remove from that like a little tab and it's super easy to get off. Now I'm gonna place this down, trying to make my lines as straight as I can, the grid on that transfer tape. Now I'm gonna burnish again. We always remove vinyl from our mat after we place our mat face down. And we basically pull the mat away from the vinyl and not the other way around. That really keeps it from curling up or anything like that. Now I'm gonna burnish from the back. We always just let gravity help us. So now that we're burnishing from the back, we're trying to get this vinyl to come off of the backing and stick onto the transfer tape because of the way we're adding pressure to that. Now that's done. We're gonna set it to the side and work on our ornament. Um, I don't wanna mess anything. I don't wanna miss anything. I bought that roll of transfer tape and I love it. It seems to last forever. Grizel, I don't think we'll ever need another, another roll of transfer tape. And we have two, we have two. Okay, so this has stopped dripping, which means one more drip, that all of that excess has come off of it just like that. So now you can kind of move it around. There's just like a good, a good layer of that on there. I'm gonna pour this right in here. And here's a tip for me to you. Before you get the glitter out, before you do anything else, shut this tight, okay? Because we have a couple of tubs of Mod Podge and one of them has glitter all in it, which means we literally cannot use it for anything else because it has glitter in it. So go through here and snap this lid on good and tight so that no rogue glitter gets in on your polyacrylic because that was, that was a bad deal. Okay, now it's funnel time. Funnel time. We're gonna make a funnel. So I'm just gonna take this, roll it up. Doesn't have to be pretty, doesn't have to be perfect. Just like that. Good, now if you can stick this inside of your ornament, just like that. You just let that funnel open up a little bit and done. If you want to make it shorter, you can do that if you want to take it out and just cut it, just like that. Super easy. Now you can place this right back into your ornament and now your funnel's shorter. So yeah, it's super easy funnel. And now all we're gonna do is pop the top off of this sucker. And this doesn't have like one side pour and then one side sprinkle, it's just the whole sprinkle thing. So I'm actually gonna unscrew the lid and pour my glitter in it this way. Now it's okay if you pour way too much glitter in this because just like the polycrylic, um, if it's not in big clumps, which it's not gonna be because this is a very smooth layer of polycrylic. If you were using, let's say Mod Podge or something where the glitter could potentially clump up, come off the side and then kind of be floating around in there, we're not gonna put that back in our glitter because that's not gonna work for any other projects down the road. But this should be super uh, great to pour a lot into, shake around then pour the excess back into our glitter here. So I'm just gonna pour it in. Just like that. Shake off our little baby funnel that we made. And now I'll plug this with my thumb. You can do whatever you want. I just plug it with my thumb and shake it around. Oh, look at that. How cute. It's got like some pink in it. Ooh, I really like this. Okay, so just shake it around. There's a lot left down there in the bottom and that's totally fine. Once you're done, you can remove your thumb. Look at all that glitter. I'm gonna shake that over a trash can and then put it back into our glitter. Done, done. Now I'm gonna tap it over the trash can a little bit, get some of that excess glitter out there. And look at that. Oh, it's got like a pink undertone, how it's like fluorescent. How cool. I love that, that's beautiful. Okay. You can shut this. And by the way, this glitter is from LMNOP. Uh, we've been using this a lot lately. Becca actually found this and ordered some colors and we're, we're kind of hooked on it. It's beautiful. This one's called Angel Wing and it, um, it's like a white, but it has some, like, let me show you. There's another white that we have that I think is called like coconut or something. Let me see. Yeah, coconut. This one's from 143 Vinyl. But do you see the difference? This one's like just white. Where in like clear, where this one has like some green and pink and things like that in it. So I really like that. I don't know if you can see that super good on camera, but it's really pretty. 
Yeah, Element OP's glitters are phenomenal, and you can actually get custom glitter color combos. Uh, Shay, one of our members here, told me about it, actually. Um, she loves glitter. She does amazing glitter tumblers, and I was like, oh, my gosh, you have to tell me your source, and she did, and it's phenomenal. They actually do these live events where um, they'll mix glitters while you watch, which is pretty fun. Really? So, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. I would watch that. I would definitely watch that. For sure. Oh, Kim said yesterday was my birthday and my sweet hubby gave me crafting money. I can't wait to go shopping for all the things. Ooh, that sounds like the best uh, birthday present it ever. It does. Crafting money is the best kind of money. For sure. Okay. So now this is a step that Becca wouldn't do. I'm going to clean my ornament. <laughs> Becca wouldn't have done this. <laughs> I'm going to clean it. And here's why. Here's why. Becca, this is for you. Okay. I'm listening. It. If Becca put it on, it would go on great. It would go on great, of course. I'm going to remove all the dirt and the oil because he's been sitting here. And then my sweaty hands. I'm going to remove all the sweat from my sweaty hands so that vinyl will stick to this very, very well. Especially yeah. if you're a beginner. You want to do this because when you're starting out, I've noticed the more variables that you can remove to possibly lead to a project fail is going to help. Also... If this happens not to work, you can rule out that it's because you didn't clean it. If your Cricut didn't cut and you've already checked your blade before there, you can rule out that you didn't check your blade because you did, things like that. So this is just one of those steps that we want to take. So if this happens to be a fail, it wasn't, it wasn't that you didn't clean it because you did. Um, that being said, I think it's going to stick fine. So I'm going to use the same paper towel to hold my uh, ornament down because it's going to be a little bit finicky. And if that happens, you can actually take paint bottles and put some paint bottles on the sides here just to hold it up like that while you place your vinyl down. So that's something that we do with odd shapes like this. Uh, miss most of the live, Mary. It's okay. Better late than never. Better late than never. Stacy. Be safe. Thanks for being here. So this is our uh, vinyl. We have already burnished it and everything. So we're going to place it down and remove this backing here. That came off beautifully. And with things like this that I just can't really see very good, I'm going to have to bring it towards me. So I am sorry. I'm going to have to pull this close to me so I can get on top of it because that is a big tip is to get on top of it. Okay. So your paint thingies. Oh, that's better. Okay. You can also use some reverse tweezers if you'd like to. That'd be something good to use them on. And this kind of bows down in the middle. So I'm going to try my best to place the middle down first, as best as I can at least. Sorry, you guys can't see this. It's either me see it and it be decent or you guys see it and it not be very decent at all. Just going to place this down. Good. Now, after you place it down, do the same thing that you always do. Start in the center and burnish your way out. Just like that. And you should be able to just remove that transfer tape. Just like that. And then the trick with these things is there's a little, like a little catch right here. You can actually pull this in and push that cap down to that catch, if you see so that you can pop your tops on here super easily. And I don't think I've ever said this, Becca. Bada bing, bada boom, it's done. Oh, that, that, that's something. I think I'll add it to my repertoire. Please, please do. Bada bing, bada, with the, I have to have the accent too. Yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. It's definitely the full package. Bada no. bing. Yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. And now you can add a little ribbon or some <clears throat> twine. Becca hates twine. Some baker's twine will be really cute for this. Um, no, Rachel, because I know they're going to ask, yes. do you need to seal this? Oh, Becca. Oh, you're, you're a saint. No. No, you don't need to seal this. This is going on a Christmas tree, hopefully, in your climate-conditioned home. Um, so I'm going to go with no, you do not need to sit. Now, if you're, if you're itching to, you're just itching to, uh, use some UV resin, another coat of this poly, 
acrylic right on the top here would be fine. But this is plastic, you've cleaned it, your vinyl is gonna stick really well on this so you don't really have to worry about it that much. Um, I wouldn't seal it personally. Uh, Megan's pretty much saying you perfected the accent. Megan, um, th thank you. Yes. I, maybe I should just quit. This and do thing accents. And be like a dialect coach. Oh, like I, like I can it. teach people how to talk the way I talk. Did you know she knows German? Guten Tag. It's <laughs> the only thing she knows. Um, like that's it. That's uh, all uh, Kim. I know. Which, Kim, have you, is this your first live with us? Because I don't remember your name. Forgive me if uh, you have been here. She's had some great questions and she has another one. Um, are there any videos from you all on screen printing with Speedball Inks? Yes. I love screen printing. Becca's hooked too. Uh, any excuse we can get to screen print, we do. We do have several videos on screen print. If you want to go to our homepage after this live, for sure, don't leave us now. Mm, no. You can click and type in screen print in our search bar and all of our screen print videos will pop up. We have several, several. Thanks yeah. for asking though. Yeah, if you need help finding it, if you can't find it, just email us hello at oakandlam.com and we will link those for you. Screen printing is so much fun. I've done it for years. We, I started doing it at Makers Gonna Learn, so it's not my first rodeo here. I've kind of got a little bit of it Perfect under my belt. It, yeah. <laughs> and some of, I mean, quite a few of our members are getting really, really good at it too. I, I'm impressed. Yeah. They, you all have probably surpassed me. I, I just, would, I don't do it. I was going to say that, yeah. but didn't want to. No, you yeah. guys have sur the, the So the student surpasses We the love that though, honestly. No, like honest when you guys kick our butts at things, yes. we're like, yeah. We are here <laughs> to inspire. If we can learn something enough to have a passion for it, to teach it. And then you guys take that teaching and run with it. And you do more than we ever could. We feel so grateful for that. Honestly, I don't know everything there is to know about screen printing. Some of you out there know a lot more than I do because you were inspired by a video that Becca or I created. And that's all, that's all we want to do Yeah, is inspire, inspire you. you to create. Yeah. That's it. So if you're kicking our butts at stuff, we love to see it. Um, Celeste says, I see you use a MacBook. Do you have a video on printer settings for sublimation? We have lots of videos on ways to maximize getting a good outcome in your projects by kind of manipulating some settings. Becca has done several of them. Um, again, email us and we can send you the specific videos. There's a few, but yeah, but as far as like actually calibrating your machine and things like that, using your MacBook, um, the color profiles are different for each for each printer. Um, so we can't really do one video on color profiling for sublimation printers just because it's so varying, so different. Um, I will say we use an Epson workforce printer that we've converted and we highly recommend it. It's your biggest bang for your buck. It's a wide format. Um, ink refills are really inexpensive. It's very easy to convert, but we don't have to play with the color profiles at all. We've always been super happy with how it naturally comes out. Uh, we have used Used in the past, um, a the brand is completely leaving me. Sawgrass. Sawgrass. Thank you. Yes, it's one of the biggest brands. <laughs> a sawgrass printer, and I know a lot about color and color theory and color profiles and all of that, and could still never get the color profile to be even half as good as the Epson that we have. So um, it, it is frustrating. I do understand. It's a great question. Um, well, a lot of times we do see a lot of people who yeah. are, who are unhappy with their color profile on their printer too, and it, it is sad that yeah. you pay all that money for a sublimation printer and you're unhappy with the color quality. So but we do have some pointers that we give everyone when you're printing either with your, your home printer for print and cut or your sublimation printer for sublimation. Um, and that is to increase your print quality settings and, um, some other things. So we, we just, honestly, that's, that's a normal routine thing for us. It's not yes. like we do it sometimes and sometimes, sometimes every time we don't. Yeah. Every time. Yeah, but that great question. Thank you. Yes. Now, you guys might have a question about this. How long does it take to dry? Do you have to do anything special to it at this point? And the answer is no. Once you've let all the excess polycrylic drip out into that cup like you did before you added your glitter, it's not going to run. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, there was a very thin layer of polycrylic. So once you dumped your glitter in there and it kind of adhered to the sides, it's going to do its job in here. Now, if you wanted to, I mean, because this is not airtight. There's air getting into this thing. It'll dry perfectly overnight. You can go ahead, ship this out. You can go ahead and hang this on your tree. It's going to be totally fine. Um, I have made paint ornaments in the past where you shake paint around in them, pour the excess paint out and add vinyl to it. Those 
those are much more finicky than this process ever could be. Again, once you have just that thin coat of polycrylic, you add that glitter, the glitter basically sticks that polycrylic right where it's at. It's not gonna, I can shake this up, I can throw it against the wall. It's not gonna remove the um, glitter from the walls of this because it's stuck. It's good and stuck mm -hmm. now, but that's super uh, easy. Two comments, mom has a really great comment. She said, this would be a great Christmas craft for kids. Is there a way to put a photo on one? And yes, we could yeah. probably do that when we do the other one. A print and cut sticker would be super, yes. super cute. Also, you can do a floating inside inside yes. use like a clear um i think i used a transparency sheet the last time it was yes. super thin to put mm -hmm. in there we, we could do a floating yeah. ornament on those bigger ones yeah. let's let's plan to do that perfect i, love I think that. that'll They're be adorable we we say it all the time here. They're stupid easy. That's oh my the gosh. quote that yeah. we use here. It's stupid easy. But they look so good. They're so they're yeah. so cute. So we'll do a floating so ornament. That's a great idea. And then we'll also do a print and cut um, to give a couple of different options. Um, also, our flock friends are congratulating us on hitting eleven point one thousand subscribers here on YouTube. So thank you for recognizing that. You all know that uh, we give you all as much or actually even more credit for the success of our subscriber rate than than it's, what we can do because we couldn't you. do it without you. Yes, we so, can't subscribe. So congratulations to you all Thank as you. well. Yes, yes absolutely. Um. Savannah's laughing because I have to throw it against the wall. Savannah, it's uh, shatterproof. I I have a baby. I, you could throw it against the wall. Yeah, I'm, would be I'm fine. always thinking yeah. of the worst case scenario with things. Uh, throwing it, throwing it against the wall in my mind would be the worst case scenario with this ornament, but it would be totally fine. It'd be fine. Yes, Kim says an acetate insert. Yes, acetate. We've used craft plastic. We've used transparency sheets. They all work really well. I've even just cut up a regular old photo that somebody printed for me. I just rolled with, it up and with put it in my, there. With scissors, not even with yeah. Cricut. I just cut it, measured it, you know, relatively measured mm, it. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. measure it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shove it in there. If it's too big, I just shave a little off the size and shove it back in there. And you roll it up. When you put it in there, it kind of bounces back out because of the type of paper that yeah. you use. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's so easy. Maria said, don't forget to click the like button. Yes, Maria, thank you for the reminder. If you yes. have not liked the video, please do that. If you're not a subscriber to the YouTube channel, go ahead and please subscribe. It helps us. Even if you can't become a member of Oak and Lamb at the moment, which we obviously want you to do, you can help us by hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you to do that. Yes, and like it. Comments help too after the lives. Absolutely. Yes, they do. Does. Yeah. Um. You all are cracking us up. Rachel did a live last week on Walmart, the, the Walmart dollar spot. Shop. And, dollar and here's shop. the thing. Lives do not generally perform well on YouTube. We yeah. love them because it helps us interact with you all. Sometimes we can sell the membership and that sort of thing, but they don't really perform well. So that's not why we do them. However, it's our top performing video right now. And we're trying to figure out why. Yes. Yes. Like, now we have ideas in the works. If, yes. you guys are, if you guys like that type of content, we've got more coming. We plan to take a trip to Knoxville, which by the way, is the, the closest place where any of these stores I'm about to mention are. For us, Joanne's, which is 45 minutes. Yeah. Michael's, Target, things like that. Yeah, it's about 45 minutes from us. All we have here, all we have as far as that goes is Walmart and Hobby Lobby. Yeah. That's all we've got. And a dollar store. And a dollar. And we have we have one five below. So we're going to plan a trip to Knoxville to go and get a bunch of stuff to do more lives like that. If you like them, if you enjoy them. Somebody liked them. Some. Because out of an entire, of you liked entire year of content, this video that you did last week is the top performing video. Yeah. And it's maybe, live. Maybe it's just because I was in in James. Maybe and I wasn't James. here. I wasn't here. They just hate me. Was Charlie in that one? That'll be it. He wasn't. Well, there was a mention. I didn't actually watch the video. I don't know if Charlie was in It's probably just because Charlie. They just kept calling people and be like, the cutest baby ever is on this live. Go watch this and video. They, yeah. I it's would have to agree. It probably has nothing to do with. The title or the content, except for that little bit. Just Charlie. I have to agree. Okay, he is so. the cutest baby. Oh my gosh. I get to eat his face. <laughs> oh my gosh. But if you love that kind of content, we, we would love to make it for, make some more for you. Because to be honest, we're always transparent here, Oak and Lamb, clearly. We act like idiots. Um, that took no prep, basically no work. We just got to come on here and share with you guys a ton of products that we absolutely loved. And you guys, you guys loved it too. We love that you loved it. 
Amy said, take us with you the whole road trip. That would be a blast. Amy, we could do a little bit of like a live Q&A or that something like that on the, on the way. way. There. Yeah, that would be Even super do fun. some like social media. That would be funny. Yeah. I like that. Beth said, go shopping vlog style. I like it. Um, I like doing Dollar Tree faux snow globes with mini Starbucks cups inside the custom labels on the cups using all DT stuff. That's adorable. Yes. Gail. Yes. I just saw her comment. Good. <laughs> She said, I went to my local Walmart and they didn't have a dollar shop. I Googled it and they're coming to all Walmarts this month. That's, that's exciting. Well, I already mentioned in that video, we'll do one for Christmas. Christmas. Um, and we'll, we'll do it for all the seasons. I'm so excited. This is so fun. funny. Yeah, we were trying to figure out, honestly, because this is what we have to figure out when we do titles and things like that. We were yeah. trying to figure out, was it the Walmart aspect, the dollar aspect, or the Cricut blank aspect that did so well? Or like was it which just part, the combination of the Or three? the Charlie aspect. Or, you know, I don't know. Maybe you should have put Charlie four. in the title. Door number four. I really don't know really don't know he just needs to be all our thumbnail it's sort of honestly like just to give you a look into to to how this works in seo and titles and all those things like we really don't know when we something really performs <laughs> well like that and we weren't we didn't know intentionally going into it which phrase would jump out to people because like Meg said there's three in there yeah. there's the cricket blank aspect the dollar aspect or the walmart aspect there's just what were you drawn to when you saw it to click it? If you're not a f normal flock member who's going to support us, no matter if our title said poo on a stick, um, <laughs> because I know that you would watch that. I'm, I'm just, I, yeah. I would have to watch that. <laughs> I'd be like, what is this? That's your newest title, Rachel. Write it down. I think I can remember that one. With cricket. <laughs> 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 dash with cricket okay sure 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 they want to yeah. go shopping with us that would be funny That's we have so to funny. go to lunch too oh gosh where are we going mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's so I didn't funny let her ask the question no she knew though she question. knew yeah <laughs> Nama. it's so funny though because so many people ask like if we're like this constantly if this is how we relate to each other and we do. So if you would find it annoying, then just don't tune in. But um, I think you guys like who came to craft with the flock can a attest to it. Like this is just how it is constantly. Yeah. So um, if you like the lives, you would like a shopping trip with I us. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Um, you would just see Becca have to pull over and let me pee like three times. Yeah. Probably. Um, I haven't. <laughs> what? Cat. It was okay. Here we go. Here we go. Um, cheap blanks, inexpensive, inexpensive blanks. Everyone's saying blanks. It's okay. Blanks. Cricket blanks. It's the blanks. Which I don't think we've ever done a title with cricket blanks. We've done sublimation blanks. We've done, have we done one? With I'm disagreeing blanks? in my head, but oh. I'm going to check right now. It's totally possible that I'm wrong. You're wrong all the time. <laughs> it's true. Um, <clears throat> where to find the best cricket blanks for cheap what was Why? the performance on it i'm not telling you you can see it it sucked dollar store cricket blanks you should be using that one also sucked it sucked and then right here number three walmart dollar spot cricket blanks you'll love 9.9 ,9 thousand views it's so interesting look at this one there are tons this of cricket good, blanks this was a good it title is. maybe it's a thumbnail I really, I don't know, Rachel. You're on it. That's why I'm so It's a offended. cute thumbnail. That's why I'm offended. You look oh, adorable you mean I'm on the Walmart Yes. One. That's because it's a cartoon that doesn't have my boy haircut and my three chins. <laughs> <laughs> that one, you do kind of look dead in. <laughs> the top one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my hair's in a bun. I know, but were you wearing makeup? I think you would look sick When do there. I wear makeup? I know. Well, you're wearing makeup in your, <laughs> your caricature. I'm literally not wearing makeup right now, too. So no judgment. I don't care. But um, that's hysterical. Anyways, Becca was proved wrong in the aspect of that we have content, but they all sucked. So I still don't understand why that would perform so well. Oh, but this one right here, 15 blank items used with your Cricut. We did, that wasn't an overthought title. That no. was the simple title. Rachel and I have a tendency to overthink titles. No, 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 no. Nah. Okay, I thought I overthought this Walmart one so much. Look how long this is. 
That's a long title. We need to put emojis in ours, I think. Maybe that's part of <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. She's mad at me. <laughs> I was drawn to the Walmart dollar spot aspect. We've seen all the dollar store blanks. This was something new. Okay, Amy, that's good. But I would have watched it anyway. I know. See? You guys are so sweet. Yeah. You guys. You have an know. Ollie's in Morristown. We do have an Ollie's in Morristown. She said, Jenny said, they had lots of items I wanted to buy this weekend for blanks. Most of it was originally from Target. Je we can go to Did Ollie's. Doll is Ollie's everywhere? I don't know. We can go I to Ollie's? I have never even... I haven't been to Ollie's in I oh, haven't either. probably a couple years, actually. You know, I always leave with something. Whether it's like coconut coffee or some gel pens, I just happen to always find something there. Kat said, holy crap, Scott's PT sessions are $50 per visit. Just had to pay for five. Can I die now? That was with insurance. Kat, I used to work at a physical therapy clinic. We did PT, OT, and ST, and that's normal, unfortunately. Beckett's um, OT is $55 as well with insurance. I feel you, my friend. I feel ya. Jennifer, Becca thought of that. What? Could it be because in the thumbnail you used the logos of Walmart and Cricket? I did think of that. I don't know, honestly. I think I think that has something to do. Because think about it. Everything nowadays is visual. Yeah. What your eyes drawn to what you see. You're uh, honestly, it's arguable that not talking about the algorithm, not talking about Google, just talking about the person with the phone, so not talking about data, you are going to click on something that looks pleasing to you. I would argue that if you're just watching on your phone, that the thumbnail matters more than the title. Now, algorithm-wise, the title matters a lot, but if you're scrolling, I think the thumbnail might matter more to the viewer than the title. Maybe, so, our, maybe our other thumbnails are too busy. Too I don't know. I mean, I've always wanted to tell you that, but I just didn't have the heart. <laughs> That's not even true. Okay. Karen says, know. I just found you. I love your channel 1000%. Karen, we're so Karen. happy that you found us and we're so happy you love our channel. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for we're glad that stopping you're here. by and for commenting to let us know. So glad you're here. Um, no, Ollie's here. What is it? Mary, it's like a... Like a mix of like an overstock store meets Kmart meets. You never really lots. know what they're gonna have. No, and if you find something there, you will not find them the next time you go. Odds are. So if you like something, you better better grab it. Honestly, I got a um, toaster from there. I'm still using that bad boy. Although I wish I got a four a four piece toaster. Do you have a four slice toaster? I do not. I have a seven dollar toaster from Walmart. I don't toast a lot of bread or bagels. I toast a lot of bread. Or waffle. Well, you know, Becca's I started using a cheese grater <laughs> to grate my butter on my toast instead of spreading it on because I don't have soft butter. Is your butter frozen? I, my fridge is very cold. I like me a nice cold drink. <laughs> so I, I don't really have words right now. <laughs> I take. I'm I, trying to envision tiny. this. It's a tiny little cheese grater. From Does it Walmart. not just get stuck in there? It falls right. It just comes right off onto my bread. And melts Your butter perfectly. sickle just. My <laughs> butter. I just shave my butter sickle. It works like a charm. One day I'm like, I'm tired of melting butter all the time because I just would like melt butter and like pour it on my toast. <laughs> Now I just use a cheese grater and grate butter on That's my toast. That's smart. I'm, I mean, it's smart. I, I just don't know that I've ever had a stick of butter hard enough that wasn't frozen that could be grated and not just mush. My fridge is very cold. That's smart, right? It's on like the coldest setting. Drinks in the back always freeze in my refrigerator. Okay. And yeah. I refuse to turn it down because then my drinks aren't as cold as I want them. If I put my kids' yogurt on the top shelf, then it will freeze. They're, they're finicky. I, there was a whole like month when we first moved in where every egg I would put, and I eat a lot. We, we get the eggs in a 60 pack, like in a big box. We use a lot of eggs. Um, They would freeze. All my eggs would freeze. You can't eat a frozen egg. Anyways. um, It is kind of like a big box. Kind of. We also have a Big Lots. It, it's like a Big Lots meets Kmart meets Overstock. Uh, what's that one? Bargain Hunt. That's kind of like a combination. That's true. It's like, an, it's like a combination of those. I will say though, like their stock of things is better than Bargain Hunt. Like you know, you'll go in and there'll be like one thing at Bargain Hunt, whereas Ollie's has like a whole stack or row or something. Yes, that's of them. true. Yeah. That is true. Yes. 
Amy, you do need a butter cheese grater. I got it from Walmart. It was like 99 cents. I never refrigerate my butter. I think, don't you have to use it like super quickly? Like even with a butter bell. Trisha said a butter bell. Trisha, don't you have to like What's use- What's a butter bell? So a butter, Becky, you would, be, oh my God, you'd be all about a butter bell. So I'm Googling you it. have like a, a ceramic, a little like ceramic bowl, right? You fill it with water. Then when you take the top off, there's another little bowl and you put butter all in it and the water creates a seal around the butter when you put the top on there and it seals your butter in there. You just set it on the counter. Well, these are adorable. I know. I thought you would have had a butter bell. Do not have one. You put, you peg. I'll peg you as a butter bell kind of gal. Well, there's a, I can't ever say this brand, La Crusette. I can't even begin to. I do that. have some of their stuff. I can't pronounce the brand. But, I do love it. But don't it. you have to eat your butter within like five days or something? I would never use all that butter in five days. I don't know. Now I want a butter bell. Oh gosh. I thought you would have had a butter bell. Dang it. These are so cute. Maria, it is not like a TJ Maxx and a Home's Goods. No, TJ Maxx it's not and Home nearly Goods that nice. Or like yeah. up here. Bring it down with Ollie's. Bring your bring your uh, expectation lower. Um, I asked about the ornaments sent to you. When are we going to see them? That's a great question. We are going to do a live and basically use all of your all's ornaments. <laughs> um, it's true. I don't know how many we ended up have. We're going to share photos from the private Facebook group of your all's and then also the ornaments too. Um, and do like a 30 Christmas ornament ideas you didn't, or I don't know, something, some Rich is going to jazz up the title because I'm really bad at it. Well, apparently I'm not too good at it either. Who want to stick? Ornaments. Dash with cricket. Yes. Yeah. Um, anyway, so we're going to show them. We're going to share all those live, but we'll be announcing the winner of their craft challenge this Wednesday in our member only private Facebook group. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. What if Fiesta has a Butterbell? Becca Jan said. I want the other one, Mom. I don't know. I've never seen Fiesta do that. I'll look. Um, it's very French. Maybe we'll just get butter bells for each other for Christmas. You change the water every couple days. It will, we don't do Christmas presents from each other. I don't do that. Whew. <laughs> My wallet says thanks. And it's like, we're poor right now. That's <laughs> not happening. I'll give you a Christmas hug. <laughs> My car's making a noise and I just turn my radio up louder. I'm like, <laughs> oh man, I'm like, get it in cheer and I just turn it up louder. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's where we are. It's honestly, it's hilarious. I leave my butter on the counter in a butter dish. Everyone's doing a butter dish. I've Trisha, never left you my need butter to on the ship counter. your ornament. Yeah, what time Wednesday? 10 30? What time are you leaving? You want to do it like, uh, how about 6.15 a.m.? <laughs> I'd do it. I'm going to early, I'm I early bird. Too. No, um, probably, t- it, probably 10. 10 a.m. Yeah. Eastern time. Well, no, 10.30 is fine because I can't pick up the kids till 10.40 or 11.45. 10.30 is fine. Okay. Yeah. As long as y'all don't chit-chat. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's, it's, well, I've been done with the craft for 30 minutes and all we've done is chit-chat, so... My engine light is on. I moved my steering wheel so I can't see it. <laughs> Amy, that's Ryan. Amy, I just I, reset mine and hope it doesn't come back on. I need an oil change, and James said, I will go check it. So he went and checked my oil. It's a fine color. It's a fine line. Here's the thing, too. I read any car. Please don't quote me on this. No one come for me, please. I just read it on Google. It could be wrong. But, like, any car that's made after, like, 2010, you really don't have to get the oil change in as often as you used to. How many to miles has it cars. been? Yeah, you could probably go five. I mean, because used to, it was like, you need to get it yeah, pretty often. You could probably go five, but Wayne will change your oil for you. Just buy the stuff, he'll do it. I mean, it's only like 20 bucks at Walmart. It's not, it's it's really just the hassle of going to do it. I understand, especially yeah. since you have a kid. You yeah. know, I mean, we can throw that in the mix as an excuse. That's fine. But uh, that's hilarious that you just move your steering wheel. We have an Ollie's here in North Carolina. Ooh. Oh, uh, just to be nosy, definitely join in. <laughs> I can't stand soft butter. What? You want? You want? Who want? Who? Brazil. Who said that? Brazil. Brazil. You like hard butter? For what? How do you spread it on things? 
Now look, I love you to pieces, but I think I just disagree with you. <laughs> like me and Beck with banana pudding, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay to disagree sometimes. We just How do you can't spread talk your about... butter, Grizzel? I'm really worried about this. What about melted butter? Did you say soft butter? I can't stand soft butter. Do you not like melted butter? I'm confused. And I'm not getting that spreadable butter. Because that's not butter. That's margarine. That's oil. I don't want oil. I want butter on my toast. Butter. When you go shopping at the $1 spot, have them change your oil, Diana. I, yeah. I got to take that stuff back to Walmart that we just had. Because I told y'all, I said, the only thing I'm keeping is my little tissue box. Oh, my gosh. It was so singing cute. I think our elf will have to do something with it. It's <gasps> yes, so cute. Yes. What's our elf's name? Shep. Shep. Yep. You're correct. She didn't believe me for a second. No, I just couldn't remember. True. Shep. Yep. You're correct. <laughs> Yes, Shep. Well, Mom, remember we had Hanky the Christmas poo. Remember? She said put a Santa hat on the poo. Hanky the Christmas poo. It's from, um, is it South Park? You're too young. Go ahead and show your age there, Becca. <laughs> 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 well, guys, it's been an hour. I've only crafted for 30 minutes. We talked about butter for the other 30. And poo. <laughs> and poo on a stick. But anyways, that's how it goes. You guys let me know what you would like to see. I always love to read your comments and get inspired by your comments on what we can do for you during our lives here. We'll be live tomorrow. It's already scheduled. We're talking about Amazon Prime. Yeah, another Prime day. That'll be fun. Yeah. So check it out. It's going to be same time. Same place, be here, except you'll see a redhead instead of me. Am I doing that live? Oh, are you? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You'll see one of us. I'll do it. You'll it's see, fine. You'll see one of yeah. us here. I may wash my hair for that. <laughs> it's been a few days. That's okay. It looks great. Top knot looks great today. You have not seen it up close. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes, time does fly when you're with friends. Guys, don't forget, if you do like chit-chat, if you like to craft, if you like the community that you've heard us talk with today, that's kind of what Oak and Lamb is about. It's just a, like a crafty family that constantly wants to encourage each other and challenge each other to be better crafters and better people every single day. If you're interested in that, you would love Oak and Lamb. You can join today for $35 off using the code 35OFF at checkout. Click the link that Becca has sprinkled in the comments or the very first link down below. And we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern.